ان الحمد لله ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الغمة تركنا على محجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا هالك يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد Respected brothers and sisters in Islam The Messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم He taught this ummah the signs of the hour the major and the minor signs and although we don't know for certainty whether all of these signs apply to our times, we certainly hear about them. And they are indeed meant as a source of reflection for us. From amongst the signs that he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned, he said, لا تقوم ساعة حتى يرفع العلم That the hour will not be established until knowledge is lifted. وَيُفِيضُ mal And wealth and prosperity will become widespread. وَيَظْهَرُ الْقَلَمْ And the pen will become widespread. i.e. writing will become widespread. وَتَكْثُرُ التِّجَارَةِ And trade will increase. As we see in our modern era. These are, these are just some of the signs that he spoke about, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When Al-Hasan al-Basri, rahmatullahi alayhi, when he spoke, he spoke about this, he said, لَقَدْ أَتَى عَلَيْنَا زَمَانٍ There used to be a time, إِنَّمَا يُقَالُوا تَاجِرُ إِبْنُ فُلَانٍ وَكَاتِبُ بَنِي فُلَانٍ That we used to say, this person, he is a merchant from such and such tribe. This person, he is a katib, someone who writes from this tribe. What he's saying is there used to just be a handful of people who were qualified to do these things. And this is him speaking almost a thousand plus years ago. And he's speaking as if that, that was a time that's gone in the past. And now he's living in an era where these things have become widespread. This is a thousand years ago, he's saying. And this is indeed from the signs of the hour. Mu'awiyah radiallahu ta'ala an. He reported that he heard from the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inna min ashrati sa'a an yaqill al-ilm. That from the signs of the hour is that knowledge will reduce. It will become weak in the hearts of people. Wa yadhharu al-jahl. And ignorance will become widespread. Wa yadhharu zina. And adultery and fornication will also become widespread. And the number of women will increase and the number of men will decrease. Symbolic of the amount of wars that will occur because it is mainly the men who get involved in wars. And we are seeing this around us. In the globe, the amount of wars and the fitan that are popping up all across the globe. He said also in a very profound hadith, Narrated by Abu Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala an. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, سَيَأْتِي عَلَى النَّاسِ سَنَوَاتٌ خُدَّعَاتٌ There will come a time upon people which will be a time of treachery. يُصَدَّقُ فِيهَا الْكَاذِبِ In it, the one who lies will be believed in. وَيُكَذَّبُ فِيهَا الصَّادِقِ and the one who speaks the truth, he will be belied. وَيُؤْتَمَنُوا فِيهَا الْخَائِنِ 
and the treacherous and untrustworthy person, he will be trusted. And the trustworthy person will be treated as a treacherous person. And then the Prophet said, pay attention to this. Then Ar-Ruwaybidah will speak. So the Sahaba asked the Prophet who are Ar-Ruwaybidah? The Prophet said, Ar-Rajul Tafihu Yatakallamu Fi Umur al He is a lowly, despised, unlearned person who will speak about the public affairs. This is an ordinary, lowly person who will speak about great matters relating public concern. I'm mentioning these ahadith, my beloved brothers and sisters, because I believe we live in a time where the unqualified speak. Everyone believes they have an opinion. Everyone thinks they're an expert. And it's not just about religious matters that people speak lightly about, it's whether it's about politics, medicine, um, halal and haram, people speak about it and they are so opinionated. And people become so stubborn about their own opinions, such that they do not even realize their ignorance. We have this phenomenon of jahal murakkab, compound ignorance, where people don't even know that they do not even know. Imam al-Shatubi, when he spoke about Ar-Ruwaybidah, he said, هُوَ رَجُلُ التَّافِحُ الْحَقِيرُ يَنْطِقُ فِي أُمُورِ الْعَامَّةِ He's a lowly, despised person who speaks about great matters. لَيْسَ بِأَهْلٍ أَنْ يَتَكَلَّمَ فِي عُمُورِ الْعَامَّةِ فَيَتَكَلَّمْ He's not qualified to speak about these affairs, but he still speaks. We see this today, subhanAllah, just in the past week or two, I had people sharing certain videos that popped up on my WhatsApp. And these are practicing Muslims who are sharing these videos. We've heard about the situation in India with regards to uh, the hijab bans on, uh, on our Muslim uh, sisters in certain, certain colleges and institutes. Um, and the tricky situation that is there for them. And we are saddened and our heart burns and it hurts seeing this and we know the situation could become you know potential genocide is on the cards here in the situation in India we are well aware of this but subhanallah one brother he shared a video and the video it was a very disturbing video it showed a niqabi sister she's wearing niqab black clothes and she seems to be engaged in some sort of argument with someone and there's a crowd that's gathered and one of these men, he throws the sister to the ground. And this mob just jumps in and starts beating her. They rip off her uh, uh, headgear. They beat her. And they get sticks and stones and they throw it on her. And she's beaten black and blue. And this video is posted with a flag of India. As if to say, this is occurring in India. Something didn't look right to me with the video. So I did some research, because even on the video itself, it mentioned uh, uh, something about Afghanistan. And I knew of a case that occurred in Afghanistan, so I looked it up. And lo and behold, it was actually a video of a case that occurred in Afghanistan in 2015 of Farkhunda Malikzada, 27-year-old sister, college student, who got into some sort of argument, it is claimed, with some sort of mullah outside, outside a shrine. And... As a result of this argument, he claimed that she burnt the Qur'an. And so this whole mob comes and says, Oh, have you burnt the Qur'an? Oh, she's an American spy. And so they lynched her, they beat her black and blue. They literally murdered her. They, uh, they set her body alight and threw her away. SubhanAllah. It's too disturbing to go into the details. And this was the video. And it's being posted as if this is occurring in India to our sisters right now. Complete misrepresentation. Yes, we are saddened at what is occurring to our sisters in India. But let's get our facts right. Let's, let's verify the information we have. Let's not forward false information. Because that's simply stupid. It is a lie. It is wrong to do this. 
Another video someone else sent me. Another Muslim practicing brother. Compilation of videos, horrifying videos of Muslims, I don't know in which country, some, some it did seem like it was in India, of being mobbed and attacked. And one particular video of one man holding a young woman hostage and people are trying to stop him. Don't do this. And he's holding a knife to the throat of this woman and he eventually slits her throat. He slits her throat and she dies. And it's being passed off as if Hindus are doing this to Muslims. Lo and behold, you do some research and you find out actually this is a dispute between two Hindus. Some, some young man fell in love with some young Hindu woman. Her family didn't want them to get married and so as a result he took some revenge and he did this. But the video is being passed, passed off as if Hindus are, ki are killing Muslims like this. I'm not denying that things like this occur in India. But I'm saying get your facts right. You're playing with the emotions of people. And as a result of these emotions, you could, calm, you could cause harm in a community unwillingly, in the wrong place. Why are we so quick to spread such information without verifying it? Some of the reasons is perhaps, as Muslims, we think that social media is some sort of authentic source of information. It is somehow the primary source of information that we take about for our worldview and for our religion, when it isn't. You will always also find people who have certain grievances. They are saddened at something. And they will look to find any piece of information to justify their grievance. Even if that information does not even align with what their grievance is about. Subhanallah. This is not justice, my beloved brothers and sisters. This is not insaf. Allah Jalla wa Ala says in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, kunu qawwameena lillahi shuhada'a bil qist. O oh, believers, stand firm for Allah and bear true testimony. وَلَا يَجْرِمَنَّكُمْ شَنَآنُ قَوْمٍ عَلَىٰ أَلَّا تَعْدِلُوا Do not let the hatred of a people lead you to injustice. اِعْدِلُوا هُوَ أَقْرَبُ لِلتَّقْوَىٰ Be just, for that is closest to taqwa. إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَبِيرٌ بِمَا تَعْمَلُونَ And Allah is most aware of what you do. Verify that information that comes to you, especially when it is great and serious news like what we are talking about and seeing across the globe. Ya ayyuhalladheena amanu in ja'akum fasiqun binaba in fatabayyanu. O believers, if an immoral person comes to you with some great news, verify it. Check its authenticity. An tusibu qawman bi jahalatin fatusbihu ala ma fa'altum nadimeen. Lest you cause some harm to a people and you end up regretting what you have done. So don't be that person. Any news that comes to you on your social media, forward, forward, forward. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said about this sort of behavior, that it is enough of a lie for a person to speak about and share every sort of information that, he, that comes to him. Because information that will come to you will be truthful, and there'll be lies in it. And if you just communicate all of that, you're also communicating lies. So be warned and be wary of the information you consume. Check it, verify it, before you forward it on to others. May Allah guide us and protect us. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfiru lah li wa lakum wa li sa'il al-muslimin fa astaghfiruhu innahu huwa al-ghafur al-rahim. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. When it comes to speaking about matters that a person is not qualified to speak about, it is bad enough if these matters are related to, you know, the public welfare, political affairs, medicine, so on and so forth. But it is especially sad and serious when it is to do with matters of the religion. As a matter of fact, an event occurred in the life of the Prophet wasallam when a group of Sahaba, they were traveling at night in the desert and one of them, he woke up in a state of janaba, in a state of impurity. And so, it was the middle of the desert, it is cold. And he had a wound in his head. And so he sought some advice from his companions. He said, what should I do? You know, I've woken up in this state of impurity. 
and I need to make ghusl, but I have this wound in my head and I, I am fearful that if I was to make ghusl, I, I could potentially become extremely ill or I could die. And so his companions, without seeking any knowledge, they said, we don't see any way out for you, you have to do ghusl. And so guess what? The Sahabi, he made ghusl and he died as a result of that. News of this reached the Prophet ﷺ and he became infuriated. He said, Qataluh. They killed him. Allah. May Allah take revenge upon them. He said, Ala sa'alu idh lam ya'lamu inna ma shafa'u al-ayy as-su'al. Why did it, they ask if they didn't know? For the cure of ignorance is to ask. Look how this led to the death of someone speaking about affairs that you're not qualified to speak about. For us, this might have just seemed like a simple fiqhi mas'ala, but look how it led to the death of someone. It is strange how we know and we recognize when we, need to, when we have a medical condition, we don't just prescribe medicine ourselves. We need to see a doctor. If our car breaks down, we're not qualified to fix it. We don't know how to fix it. We take it to a mechanic. But somehow when it comes to matters of the deen, we somehow become experts. And we speak about them very lightly and with confidence and without being qualified to do so. Imam Ibn Sirin, rahimahullah, he said, this, this knowledge is your religion. So look to where you take it from. Don't be lax. Take this seriously where you take your knowledge from. So my beloved brothers and sisters, this is a serious issue. How we transmit our religion and information and how we ought to be careful in what we narrate. The Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gave us a simple formula in the Qur'an. فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ Ask the people of knowledge if you do not know. A simple matter. Ask people who are qualified about affairs that you are unqualified to speak about. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us tawfiq, to protect us, to remove ignorance from us, to increase us in knowledge and understanding and wisdom and hikmah, and to preserve our scholars so we may be able to benefit from them and seek their knowledge. May Allah protect our brothers and sisters in Afghanistan, in India, in China, in Yemen, in Palestine, and all across the globe who are suffering and who are going through various fitan. May Allah protect them. May His shade and His victory come to them. Allahumma ghafir lil mu'minina wal mu'minat wal muslimina wal muslimat al ahya'i minhum wal amwat Allahumma ansur ikhwana al mustadha'afina fi Afghanistan wa fi Kashmir وفي هند وفي بورما وفي صين وفي يمن وفي بلاد الشام وفي سائر البلاد المسلمين يا رب العالمين اللهم إني أعوذ بك أن أضل أو أضل أو أزل أو أزل أو أظلم أو أظلم أو أجهل أو يجهل علي أو الله I seek refuge in you lest I stray or be led astray or I slip or make others slip or cause injustice or suffer injustice myself, or do wrong to others, or have wrong done to me. Learn this dua. This is a prophetic dua that you may find in Hisn al Muslim. Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Muhammad. Wa ala ala Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim inna ka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammad wa ala ala Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim inna ka hamidun majid. Qumuli salatikum yarhamukumullah.